That is super obnoxious. So what happened here, chat? So I went live a moment ago, or at least I thought I went live, and I think Twitch didn't connect. So I'm gonna have to upload the section I did from 87 to 94. Uh, uploaded as a VOD. Um, that's super, super frustrating because there was a lot of cool stuff that that happened here. No fames, but we we definitely have been busting camps and stuff. Um, so I'll be sure after stream to upload that segment. Um, it's all one straight recording, so I have it. But just like, holy crap, that's frustrating. Um, I've actually been talking to myself for like, <laughs> like like maybe two hours <laughs> like that that's irritating but whatever we're gonna keep going oh man that's super strange super 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 strange but we'll, we'll roll with it so really the only thing that was missed is we took our first noble contract up here fought a couple a couple noble armies there was a really spicy 22 noble fight I'll make sure I highlight that when I upload that section. Um, but other than that, it was literally just busting wagons, busting a couple nobles. Um, and we did our, our a chosen fight, uh, but it was a small one. It was only like eight chosen. So that's fine. Um, we're just gonna have to, to upload it separate. Um, or maybe I'll, I'll upload it and I'll, I'll play it after after stream or something like that. But all good. I'm here now, still rolling, still working. So we just got back in Dire Straits. We're repairing, getting ready to do a Giga Cell. And we are going to probably come back this way. Uh, we would like to hire another Nomad. And we would look like we would like things to spend our money on before um, and we don't have paymasters. So we want to be able to spend the money so that we don't trigger a bunch of bad pay events. So like I'm I'm okay with a little bit of a walk. I think we're we're good on nets. We might have overestimated the number of nets we needed. Um I threw a lot of nets. So we went out with 12. Right? We went out with 12 nets. I threw a lot of nets. Um, and then still have eight left, which feels pretty good. But it's all good. Um, I'm actually skipping that. Um, I don't have space for the loot from it. Not really. I mean, I kind of do, I guess. Eh, just, just unbothered. Um, we're, are we heavy on nets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, Ten, eleven, twelve. We're back up to twelve nets. I think that's fine. What's this contract? Green skins not a part of the ambition. All right, cool. So I think we're gonna go to our selling town over here. Buy another nomad. Keep it pushing. frustrating thing is now I'm not even sure a hundred percent sure if Twitch is connected properly at the moment because it's late a lot of my usual viewers aren't on all that stuff so I don't have a, a good basis to confirm but it's all good um we'll fight that after we sell 
because we need to. It's free. What's our sell price here? It's 17. That's perfectly acceptable. All right. Uh, we're going to get more of these. Like, I do want to, by the end of the crisis, keep some. But we're going to get more. So it's not super pressing. We keep these for undead. They make the undead fights much quicker. Um, I don't need this. Um, if I was in the market to make a, Nim a Nimforge bro, I keep these. We're gonna get more of these. Maybe it's a thing we do if this run plays out long enough. Uh, we want a couple spare of these. Keep the good ones. We don't need these. keep the better ones that's probably fine um at this point it's like do i just buy fresh armor do i just buy fresh um 95s versus spinning tools to repair But yeah, it, it's kind of upsetting because that was such a good section, but I'm just going to have to upload it. I didn't realize Twitch kicked me. So I might have been live for like a split second and then it kicked me, but that's, that's fine. I'm, I'll upload it and I'll highlight the important stuff. I'll go through and I'll actually like all the walking around and pointless like undead fights. Maybe I'll like I won't worry about that, but I'll highlight the chosen fight we did. I'll highlight the noble fight we did. Mm. You just get the the good stuff. Um, we're not hanging on to these right the second. Uh, we have enough spars. I think this is correct. I hope we didn't sell anything we actually needed. In in like a moderately tilted place, but it's all good. Uh, so now we want to make sure we spend our money before we get bad, bad pay events. Um, not much here to spend our money on, though. Right? So, max tools. Cheap ammo. Um, actually need food. I'll be I'll buy some cheaper food at the Citadel, I think. Um and there's nothing we want. Uh, we have nets. My reflex. My reflex chat. I saw a net with legs. There's a uh, tier one undead camp, dead south. That's why we had the uh, the 19 or so wider gangers. Uh, how much longer does this have? One to two days. I think I ignore it. So what we want to do right now, we go get training on this guy. He pulls a warden off the off the bench, or he pull, puts one of these guys on the bench, um, and then we're looking for 
stuff to buy. What are we in the market for, chat? We're in the market for... Really, it's it's bros, box, forge mail. Oh, that's fine. Um, ah, we have to do this fight. Undead fights. But we can break out our new toys. And we'll put our we'll put our uh, chosen backs, axes back on, or our dag katals back on after this. Hey, Slug, what's up? Thank you for the raid, my guy. Bro, Slug, I am so frustrated, man. So I um, I went live, or I thought I went live. Uh, I thought I went live. And so I've actually been playing Battle Brothers recording for like going on three hours. <laughs> and so... Fortunately, it's recorded, so I can upload the section that people missed. Like I can, I can just upload it. Um, but we had some some great fights. We fought a twenty six stack of nobles. So what I'm gonna do is I'll pull out the really good fights. I'll make those like short highlight videos, and then I'll put the whole thing up as a vod, un unedited, unparsed. So if people want to sit there and watch the whole thing, they can. But like the really good juicy stuff, people will be able to cut straight to that. So like. That should work. But yeah, man. I'm like... I was heated. I, I was kind of heated. I was like, man, nobody's talking tonight. I mean, I guess it is after hours. I was like, I guess people don't like me. Maybe Slug is live or something. I was really down myself, dude. I was having, like, a bad moment. Oh, that's awful, man. That happened tonight or today. Oh man. Oh, was that the three star? Was that the three star farmer you showed me earlier? Oh, that sucks. I think I I think I know the bro you're talking about. Cause I think I was in your chat and I was like, yo. The other guy. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, hey, welcome everybody uh, from Slug Stream. We are in the Noble Crisis. We just killed a bunch of nobles, killed some Chosen, uh, got paid. Um, we are on the back end. We completely exhausted our tools to the point where the last couple fights on the way back, our Katals were breaking because we hadn't repaired in so long. Um, but it was a good time. Yeah, there. I, I use them. So I use them in undead fights. It, no, no, no. The chosen axes are. I use them in undead fights instead of katals. Like, oftentimes they chop heads off. Um, and they're better than the Katals into Ancient Undead. And when my Katal bros go into Monolith, they're using they're using Chosen Axes or Maces. But Chosen Axes are free, so... Because you just take them from Chosen. Like, Chosen just deliver them to you, right? So... Really? I've always been... I've always been afraid... Oh, yeah. Um, I've always been, that makes sense. Just let the raw HP damage into the. 
Oh, that, I, I, I can get behind that. Yeah. One of the things that has been interesting um, since I switched from DQH being kind of the normal way I play dodge quick hands, like, I, without just having to reach weapons to reach back and pop savants, right? It's gotten a little bit more interesting. Like, that's one thing DQH is a really... Yeah, it, and that's one thing the DQHs do a very good job of, is like the swing backwards to get Savants off your guys. Yeah. And maybe that's the correct answer is to just like, you don't, you don't take range bros into Monolith. Like maybe that's the secret sauce, right? Because, like, I remember, I think the last monolith I saw you do, you were on, um, you were on, like, pole mace, not pole maces, uh, pole hammers was your jam back then. We're wasting ammo, but we're rich. I don't care. Like, we're, we're rich. I'm blowing money fast. Don't care. Oh, there's another one down here. My bad. I didn't even see that one. But yeah, how's everybody doing tonight, man? How's everybody living? What's going on with you? The second Mon challenge is more a standard lineup with three throwers. Okay. Oh, the run's going well. Thanks for hanging out, Endless. I appreciate it. Welcome to the channel, my guy. Uh, this run's going pretty well. Um, we we caught up. Um, we were like we started a little bit behind. Um, because at first we were like clearing stuff down here and then we started clearing the wilds out this way and we were doing this loop back to cell because this, this is raiders origin um and so we cut we start we were starting to fall behind scaling and so i decided to stop doing that and then i just picked a town like we ended up sweeping the desert then i just picked a town to work on and then we just started going into orc country and killing stuff after that around then the crisis started and then we started doing crisis contracts and pushing up this way. All right, so we just did a trip up here, busting nobles. Just sold a whole bunch of noble weapons and gear, which is why we're paid. But yeah, and thank you for the follow, my guy. I appreciate it. But that's the gist of what, what has just occurred. Um, but yeah. Also, while we were doing that, we hit the... Um, we hit the um, Oath Taker armor event for 9K, which was also very nice. But yeah. Oh, famed one on you, you're my best Katal. But yeah, I should probably lock these in place so I don't accidentally sell these like an idiot or something. That's that's like the one thing. It's being able to pin stuff in your inventory. It saves you from being an idiot, man. It saves me from being an idiot anyway. But yeah, this this run is going smooth, man. 
Um, what do you get up to? Are you a veteran Battle Brothers player? You new? Somewhere in between? We fight this. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, that's why I don't post on Reddit anymore. I just make my videos, and if people like it, they like it. If they don't like it, whatever. At the end of the day, it's their, you know, their monkey, their circus. And I'm not going to tell them how to manage their monkey. That's like a PC way of me saying, like, do what you do. Um, but, I, I mean, I put up results, right? Like, I, I stream what I do, so... You know, but no, I don't, I don't get into the Reddit thing. The Fame Katal is dumb. It, it's actually nutty. It's uh, plus damage, plus armor pin. So it's, it's real, it's real good. So... I'm gonna try, since we're so far ahead, I'm gonna try to avoid undead camps for the remainder of the stream, guys. I know they're not like people's favorite content, but I think it's important, especially when you're grinding levels. Like we got guys in training. We actually should have put our forge tank training in this fight. That would have been correct. That's what these fights are for. It's like very safe fights to train guys. Um, but I think we're gonna go to the desert and see if we can't buy another premium bro. So, cause this guy's getting ready to go to the front. We're actually ready to do ICK. Yes. Um, a lot of people, and I'm not saying you're wrong if this is how you enjoy the game. I have to qualify cause otherwise the Reddit warriors will come after me. A lot of people save scum use tryout mod or um or are just playing at lower difficulty none of these things are wrong enjoy the game how you enjoy it i do fun runs all the time at lower difficulty like it's a cool thing to do especially if you want to use different builds and shake things up whatever right enjoy the game it's a video game enjoy it right where i have issue is people not playing at max difficulty um iron man with no game changing mods really like telling me what works even though they've never tested it <laughs> you know what i mean asterisk with a timer right because we're trying to be legendary ready by like day day 150 minimum so anything works if you do contracts till day 300 and you have like seven veteran levels on all your guys anything works if you have tryout mod and you can cherry pick you can cherry pick day tailors that have triple three stars from day one of your run without ever spending money on a bad bro right like that's just that's just it you know what i mean But no, Reddit is is the Dunning Kruger effect, right? Like people in the middle, in the middle who don't have a basis for whether they're for how their actual skill level, right? Because if you're really bad at the game, you know you know you're really bad at the game, right? Um, if you're really, really, really good at the game, that is. You don't have to, at least if you stream, that gets confirmed by other people who have put up records in the game, right? But if you're in the middle, you don't have a basis for comparison. Correct. But I'm not knocking people. Like, I don't, I don't want to knock people. It's more of like a like pre-defense mechanism, right? 
because like I get attacked so much of, for like certain decisions I make in my playstyle, or like a new player comes in, I'm explaining to them like, hey, like this is why you don't take student on your first on your first couple bros at the beginning of a run on max difficulty. Guys with bows spawn a lot earlier at max difficulty. You will you will take a fight. You will spawn it at the very bottom of a doom hill. All the archers are going to shoot on the first round of the fight before you get a single action. And if you don't have perks that keep guys alive early game, you're you're going to die. Sometimes it's going to work and you're not going to die. <laughs> but you're you're going to take deaths in the long run because of that. Is that's what I'm saying. And then people are like, no, like student, 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 student. And I can just tell you that at like almost 5k hours of gameplay, people who say they take student on every single bro first level, I can tell you for a fact, one of two things. They are either playing at a lower difficulty. They are using using game changing mods. Or they are save scumming. Or they are only doing contracts and being very careful which of those contracts they do until very late in the game. If they are running at mar at, at uh, brigand camps early in the game, or they're they're re-rolling fights for terrain. There, there's I am telling you that's what's happening. I can tell you for a fact at at almost 5k hours that like if you take student level one on all your bros bros are gonna die like it's, it's very simple but to answer your previous question i'm pretty experienced in the game but i've taken breaks and come back to it so that's cool man i'm actually just getting back into it myself my guy um i took some time off I've uh, been got pretty busy with work, um, but yeah, man, it's it's a great game to come back to. It really is a classic. Hey, get some rest, slug. Get some rest. And stay off Reddit. It's not good for your health. It's not good for your mental health, man. Cool, man. Um, this is free. We just swap back to our correct loadouts. All right, is this guy ready to come off the bench yet? He doesn't have Pathfinder yet. He needs literally one level. But this is free. Trying an anatomist run for the first time. It's a very interesting origin. Like they give you really, really good bros, right? But the thing that that I've always struggled with that with that origin is the morale restriction you get in it. Like confident is a really big deal. Confident is a really, really, really big deal. Like the in combat stat boost is not a joke. You know what I'm saying? And so not being able to get confident just like really, really messes with me. Are these guys even worth throwing ammo? Like they're they're gonna break as soon as I start killing them. But yeah, give me one second, chat. Headphones dying. Gotta plug it in real quick. Yeah, this this just these chain break the second the Catals get in, get in here.
in the beginning it was really annoying, but you feel like it made you a much better player. That's good. Um, challenge runs do a, a lot to, or different origins do a lot um, because it forces you to rely on different tools, right? Like one of the things that Raiders has helped me a lot with is it it's made me very, very flexible on recruiting options. Um, this is the origin that also made me learn like I actually had to back when I first, first, first started playing Raiders, like learn which buildings would generate rich recruits so that when I went into a map, I could say, okay, I don't have hunter's cabins, right? If I'm going to get guaranteed range bros, I'm going to have to go to a Southern city or I'm before blazing deserts, right? It was like, okay, I don't have hunter's cabins in any friendly area. So I'm either going to have to not use range units or I'm going to have to try and make a poacher or something work, right? Speaking and simultaneously playing Raiders also forced me, like, I spent a long time in the wiki. I'm so mad. I spent a really long time in the wiki learning the role ranges for basically every class like like memorizing most of them and then a couple months after i memorized them they made this mod so that instead of having to open the wiki to check p possible role ranges it's just like these this is the role range that a nomad can have and i'm like that's so irritating <laughs> so i downloaded it as a reference but it's like i can tell you without checking it that a peddler's max MDEF roll is possible MDEF roll is 12, right? I can tell you that a possible before traits, tell you that a thief's max possible MDEF roll before traits is 10. Tell you that a gambler's max possible roll is seven, right? <laughs> like, because I, I had I had to, because I, my recruiting pool was so limited that it was like, I had to know what I could use for what. You know what I mean? And I know there's somebody that's like, okay, smart guy. What is the max possible initiative a assassin can roll? with this trait, this trait, and this trait. I don't know. Okay, it's a premium bro that has low HP, high initiative, good melee attack, and good possible in death rolls, <laughs> right? But like, these lowborn, I, I know very well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I just, I had to. I don't need to be wasting ammo, but it's very satisfying to jab things. Plus, we're rich right now, so. Like, I'm actively looking for ways to, I might buy a famed I don't need or something, because I, I need to burn money. I don't have the Paymaster. I'm in no need of forged armor right now. I'm getting ready to go do Icy Cave. So we're gonna start working towards that famed armor. Like, so I don't really know what to spend money on besides premium bros right now. Um, I still fight this at night so we don't get shredded by archers. It's just, it's never night when I walk by here and I'm always doing something. I really want hyenas chat. Sorry, squirrel brain. I really want hyenas so I can get my hyena pelts for these guitar bros. It's like very obnoxious. Every contract for beasts in the desert has been ifrits or snakes. And I just haven't seen them. That's why I'm peeking around right now, trying to see if I see some Lindworms. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, that is a premium nomad. That's a, nomads are kind of my like, 
this bro barring crazy crazy bad traits is a guaranteed fatigue neutral bro unless unless they min roll sometimes they min roll and it's like they're a little too hard to work out but if they're average rolled before traits they're they're always able to do this job so uh xp pot no okay well we just hire a bro he's got levels oh yeah oh yeah absolutely my my whole team so this is a guy who's in training These are starter bros. These are the barbarian starter bros. Every other frontliner that I've been using that you've been seeing is a lowborn. And these are our two hunters. Or sorry, a hunter, a um witch hunter, and a it's also and a range nomad. So mid-tier non-noble, non-lowborn, because these aren't lowborn, they don't have the lowborn tags. But mid-tier in terms of cost, and they, they do their job beautifully, right? Like. Um, let's check for bad traits. <laughs> Bright. Alright, chat. Winner or loser? Winner or loser? winner uh this guy is an incredible fatigue neutral bro oh my god this guy is so good oh my god this guy's incredible um he's get, he's gonna get 20 on average here that's fine um i can actually take ones here because we have spare rolls like we have so many spare rolls that it like I can do whatever I want here. Like that's his last resolve roll, chat. Now I'm gonna need him to stop chain rolling ones. That would be that would be much appreciated. If you guys are interested in the builds that I use, uh, exclamation point builds will pull up a sheet um, that in great detail, and, and I'm not talking about like a hard to read Excel document, a very well done um, build guide for the builds that I use for the most part. Um, most of which was designed by some weird sins. There are some modifications that I do from time to time but it's a good baseline for what I use for how I play the game. Um, so this is a warden in case you're wondering, okay, like this guy's good. How are you going to build him? Like that's the end state for that guy. All right. We still are huge on gold. Okay. That, that makes sense. If it makes you feel any better, I don't have money for highborns either. Like, I typically don't buy hedge knights for... Um, it's a good sell price here. I can clean out some junk. I typically don't buy hedge knights for... Um, because I want a hedge knight. I buy a hedge knight because a hedge knight will be 6k with 300 armor and a 300 helmet and a mace. So it's 10k in armor, 5k in helm, with a 3k weapon, and he costs 6k. The bro is a bonus. And you know what? Sometimes that guy is good. Sometimes that guy is poop. It doesn't matter. 
right? I just saved like tit like like 13k. You know what I mean? Yeah, Sins is basically the guy who taught me how to play. Spent a lot of time um, talking to this guy back when he played super, super sweaty. Um, and he's kind of done everything he can do in the game at this point. Like, he has, the dude has nothing left to prove. Like, I've gotten better since then. And I promise if that guy actually decided to do a sweaty run, he would crush, he, like, he would crush me. I'm trying to get good enough to beat his win streak record. <laughs> like, that's, that's one of my, like, goals in getting back in. But I, I got a ways to go. I'm, I'm not tight enough to, to do that yet. One, two, three. Four, it's one more. Um, I would have really liked an XP pot. Uh, but now we have a bro. Do I still have this injury? No, I don't. So now we have a bro um, who needs body armor. Uh, but we're getting ready to go do Idrock. If I can find Icy Cave. So I think we... If we don't have a contract we want to take that's fighting nobles, then what we'll do is we'll, we'll like, go sneak around and go do Idrock Hyenas. Uh, nomads. Ifrits, okay. No, not worth the, inju the injuries. Moving tents east. Um, I could do that without the, uh, did I, did I dish the contract? I didn't. I could do that without the modifier. Um, but I, I don't think that that stuff is what I want to be doing right now. I think I want to be doing this crisis because it's worth a ton of money and it's free forge gear. I think I want to be working towards that legendary brigands get out my way. Just make sure everybody's healthy. Okay. Ah, eating my food. I, maybe I can use the pause. Oh, nope. So one of our rules, exclamation point rules, we don't third party unless we're forced to. So we don't like kite unholds into camps or anything like that. Um, I'm going to fight that. I'm just going to wait it out and fight it at night. Um, uh, I could almost use it as a training fight for this guy, but whatever. This guy's a tick better. Okay. Most likely we're gonna back up. Oh no, they're coming forward, okay. And that's fine. Okay, so they, they pushed us. Ah, oh, he's got a noble sword, that's great. We need, we need uh, one of those. Although that is one less thing for us to buy. And we need stuff to buy, so bittersweet. Um, he's like not exactly worth it to dagger, even.
I need to buy one more Rondo Dagger. That's also a thing I need to work on getting. Have I found a Witch's Hut already this seed? Maybe I just do Witch's Hut. Because that, that Fame Dagger is pretty good. Maybe I just go do that. Are they still pushing? Okay. It's cosmetic. We're nimble. We're nimble with like 100 HP chat. It's just cosmetic. Don't worry about it. It'll buff out. Um, let's get this off of this high ground tile. I, I guess he doesn't have anywhere to go, so it's silly, but... Um, am I bothering to dagger this? Like, does it increase the, the profit on this fight that much? Probably not. Like, I probably don't care enough to dagger it. So I'll just, I'll just blow him up instead. So if you don't know what I'm doing with these weapons, like if you're a newer player and you've never seen people do Katal shen shenanigans, I'll explain it here in a second. But like you'll notice sometimes I'll hit something and it could be like an orc warrior or an unhold or something. And like it just explodes into red mist in like three hits, right? And then sometimes I'll be fighting like a raider and it'll be nearly dead. Right? Or it'll take all three hits to kill it when you watch me just like make a an, a berserker explode or something. That's because the death blow on the dagger, when you meet the conditions to do it and you actually use it, it deals an obscene amount of damage, chat. Like not okay numbers of damage. Um our, some of our food's gonna get away, I kinda don't care. Yeah, I don't I don't have the movement to catch this. It's fine. I was busy. I was flapping my gums instead of paying attention to positioning. Um I get this one though. Um this guy gets there. Okay. But yeah, okay. None of our food got away. But de but death blow is uh is really really dumb. It's it's really dumb. And I'll, I'll explain it in a second. Uh, we got the noble sword, which one of our our thrower will use that as his uh, weapon to get people off. Okay, that works. Particularly, specifically, necro savants. Okay, so death blow, right? Why, like, why do we build our team this way, and why are you seeing like crazy, crazy, crazy damage from these guys? Okay, this is death blow. Um, 37 to 56 damage, um, base, right? 25 can ignore armor. 
Okay, it's 33% more damage and ignores an additional 20% if something is stunned, dazed, or trapped in a net. So these mace bots, these are stun bots and they take contact to keep our damage bros safe. Those get upgraded to mace newts, right? Late game, but these are all like lowborn, like farmers and stuff. So we're able to get the strategy going early. Okay. So that's just base, right? So you're like, okay, 33% more damage, like whatever, 20% more armor pin. That's like pretty good, right? Okay. Uh, Duelist applies to this and Executioner applies to this, right? But wait, here's the kicker. So you build this on an initiative bro. So this guy waits Mace Bro steps up and stuns. This guy steps, gets two attacks off with Dagger Mastery, right? Oh, by the way, and it's three attacks a turn because of Dagger Spec, because it reduces the AP. So this guy steps and death blows twice. At 140 initiative total, after after whether it's high end pedal or whatever, but at 140 initiative, your Katal Bros are faster than anything else in the game. So when you do this, you step up, death blow, death blow, end round. At the top of the next round, that Katal bro is going to act before whatever is stunned, netted, dazed, whatever acts and clears the status. So then you get three more death blows. Very few things in the game live through five death blows. Like, are you, are you, that's how that damage becomes so explosive. Just like a quick summary of how that strategy works. But it's also a crap ton of damage if you don't death blow, right? So like your lighter targets, you just kill those too. It's awesome. Um... He's got a 300 helmet, but he has the 210 armor, so he's not worth it. I like he's could be a gear purchase, but he has the the bait armor. I've made that mistake before thinking this was a 300 armor. It's not. Um, this is another mace. We need these, so I buy this. Um, this is a coat of scales and a closed helm. How much how much forge armor do we still need? Um, we're gonna do Idrock, so that's a set. Um, and we don't have the bro yet. So we don't so we're gonna get another set and we'll have a spare helmet. And I don't I don't have the next the next forge bro after that. So I, I don't need to buy this. Um, I'm plus one helmets in the direction I'm building right now. If there was a salad helmet, I would buy it here as an upgrade for a bro too. Oh, that's fine. Um, red paint. I do some some color coding here and there guys just don't don't mind me all right uh let me equip that guy's noble sword before i forget where's he at he's right here yeah fashion bros is the real game guys i just i just want you to know like if you're not in fashion bros like are you even playing Also, like, the red helmets on my Katal Bros helps me see. Like, it helps me not forget where they're at. Oh, sorry. Like, obviously, I won't force it, right? But, like, I gotta use what I gotta use sometimes. But, all that's good. 
Okay, uh, training hall for our trainees. That's great. That's great. And there was nothing else we wanted, right? I don't think so. Any fames nearby? Okay, nothing. And there was nothing we wanted to hire, right? Okay, we're good. We're done here, chat. Uh, minus tools. Tools and ammo. Stocking up on food. All right. And what is this contract? Is this go smash for five days? It is. And it's House Rosenvig, so we do it. We already know we have plenty of nets. Let's go check our targets. Same three as last time. Let's go. Yeah. Gamba chat, Gamba. Helps when you have identical builds to tell them apart sometimes as well. Identical loadouts, I should say, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, I'm, I'm very guilty. You'll see me do this. Where, like, I get my Catal Bros mixed up. And I... Oh. Okay. Well, we'll... This is free. This is... Giga free, so... Let's pull what we don't need. Like, I don't need this guy... Don't need this guy. This is for experience leeching purposes, chat. Um, let's put this guy in as well. Nim tank needs XP. The Catals can probably win this fight by themselves. Um, what do I put him in the train? Maybe I should have bought some armor or something. I mean, the poachers never kill him in this situation, but let's, let's do that. Also, I, I made a mistake. I didn't sell all. Uh, I'll clear out my stuff here. But yeah, this is free, so we do it. We do it for training purposes. Yeah, our Architals could win this fight by themselves. You stay out of the way. Don't use throwing weapons. My throwers could have just not been this fight too. Like I severely overestimated what this camp was gonna be like. That was a single death blow on that raider there. This looks like an early follow the tracks, right? It probably just released a a um, patrol or something. I would imagine. Now it's just clean up. 
I mean, this was already just clean up. Let's let's be real. I mean, for the amount of work, <laughs> that was like no work. It was a pretty decent reward. But yeah, we forgot. We, we had more stuff to sell. I forgot about that raider camp. So we'll just sell at a bad price at one of these little towns and be okay with it. Because we already started the contract, we don't have time to walk backwards. Like, if we get jammed up, if we get jammed up while we're doing this, like, having a day or two to rest during this contract helps. Uh, oh, there's no Arbalisters. This is free. Get wrecked. Free, 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 free. Uh, Y'all are getting ready to see a thrower clinic, by the way. Like, clinic.thrower. Um, if I back to, they run... They probably stop in front of me in shield wall. I don't have to do that. This is... This is super free. Um, I'll probably get one closer than this one here. I'll wait. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cooling. Okay. Okay. So now that sets up the... He doesn't have barb jabs yet. I was like, why didn't that second one kill? Look at that. That is one barb jab. And that's not at plus damage distance. Like, look, look at that. <laughs> look, look at that. <laughs> like, your, your, your war bow ain't doing that. I'm sorry. He's nimble, and I think this one has nine lives. This he's like he's chilling, chat. It's cosmetic. Don't worry, it'll buff out. It'll buff out. Okay. Sad that one bricked.
Will that jab to the face buff out? Uh, no. No, it won't. <laughs> Don't imagine there'll be an open casket. Pro probably not, guys. I mean, in a world where wider gangers exist, um... Shouldn't just like every funeral be a closed casket? Just, just asking for myself. This guy's actually like no. Sorry, I'm kidding. He's a hundred, eight hundred and three HP nimble. So he still has. He actually still has. Um, he's is he perfect nimble? So he actually still has. Uh, about 160 HP. And he's also still incredibly hard to hit. Strong button. Cover turn for this guy. Really? Oh, so missed a 95, missed a 95, hit a 95. Okay. So we just missed two 5% in a row there. Or two 95% in a row there. I was like, huh? I don't, that don't sound right. No, no, no matter how much I try, I can't get away from XCOM, guys. Every game is XCOM. Uh, he can't step here. Y'all see what I meant when I said thrower clinic? Does, does that see what I meant when I say the thrower's about to put on a clinic? That's that's what I mean. That's what I was trying to I was getting at. Um, Seven hundred damage, four hundred damage dealt. Where's the other guy? Yeah, so 400, 400, 400, 700. Like, hard carry. Hard, hard carry here.
Um, this guy is ready to go to the front line. Uh, effective now. Because he is officially fatigue neutral. He does need underdog. I do have to be semi careful with positioning with this guy. Who's my worst, uh, worst FA uh, guy? Probably this one. Cool. Um, and then I guess who are we training right now? We probably we probably put this guy in as the next trainee. So let's get his armor squared away. The like lack of symmetry is is drives me nuts. Um I don't think I want him on the outside. I think I want somebody with Endom on the outside here. I think I think that's how I want to do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean he's just a nomad. Like he's not not a hedge knight or anything crazy, but like I've already told you guys how I feel about hedge knights in general. Um, I guess we, we repair some heavier armor in case we have a chance to level him at the same time as everybody else. And then we sell some junk at this town if possible. Like we just, just want to get rid of junk at least. Problem is, is our bag is going to be giga full, right? These are expensive tools, but we buy them. Actually, we, I guess we, we had we didn't repair yet. No, I bought them too soon. Rip 300 gold. But we definitely we definitely sell trash here, right? Like, I know the sell price is terrible here, but there's going to be a lot of really, really good loot where we're going, chat. And, like, if we can't carry stuff, it's going to cost us more money. I, I just full sell here. Just whatever. Just get rid of it. Is the price even that bad here? Price check? The price isn't even that bad here, you guys. It's not even, it's 15. It's it's on the low side, but it's not terrible. So let's go ahead and clear out. Spare Helms. Probably don't need this many. Probably get rid of the ones that are the more damaged. Um, is somebody getting an upgrade to a bill hook? Probably this guy. Yeah, he's he's. It's time for his upgrade. Okay. Um, matter of fact, does this guy? Yeah, it's time for his upgrade too. Gear upgrades. Let's go. What's the seed? Um. How do I pull the seed without... Maybe I can get it with a pause. I think it shows on the pause screen. Um, I do random seeds. So, like... You know, it is what it is. But... Here. There it is. There's a seed for you. Also, welcome to welcome to the channel. Welcome to chat. Hope you're having a awesome one. Um, I will tell you. I mean, I don't know how much pre-disclosed knowledge you want about the seed, uh, but it's it's this has been a, a it was an interesting map for writers. 
Um, but I imagine if you play this on like New Company or Peasant Militia, it's it's a pretty damn good seed. Like, <sighs> the only thing that's been a little bit light is there just haven't been that many barb camps. Like I had to do a lot of clearing before I got some to spawn. Uh, let me know if you got it, by the way. Let me know if you were able to get the seed there, boss. I'll just type it in chat for you. U-G-V-P-L-A-G-T-P-Q. Uh, we didn't take any injuries on that, did we? No, we didn't. Just cosmetic damage. All right. Um, our first target is here. So there we go. I want to be careful about getting jumped in the woods by a noble army. So I'm going to cut this way. Oh, hey. Uh, relatively free camp. Um, it is on a hill. This guy's scuffed. Backup armor engage. In case we get a Doom Hill. Um, it is not a Doom Hill. This guy's armor scuffed. Oh no. Didn't, didn't miss that guy's armor. All good. Surely we don't get punished. Something's gonna have throwing weapons and run forward at us. And when it does, we're gonna, we're gonna full send on it. And that'll switch their AI. No? Okay. Just do it this way. That's the trade-off for running these guys this way. Is, um... I don't get to have uh, back or Pathfinder on my throwers, which which I feel it sometimes, right? Like this is one of those situations where I feel it. This guy just needs to stay safe. That's probably too that is by itself is probably too aggressive of a move for him. Bringing a trainee and a guy with zero armor is, is kind of papega, but we'll we'll make it work. Play mistakes, chat. Play mistakes. So now I don't have a um. I don't have a mace for this side for this part of the formation because I messed that up. He steps down and swings if I stay right there. Um, I think I like doing it like this. This is awkward. I messed myself up by not having this mace here. Like, I kind of just have this guy on this island here. It's fine.
we made some mistakes in the in the prep on this one, but but it's I, I think it's okay. Like fortunately, our team is strong. We'll just we'll just work through it. Oh, don't hit your own guy. Oh, uh, this guy just needs to stay away from these crossbows. We just we don't want to lose a trainee for no reason. Looks like I'm getting carried by this build chat. It's because I am. Oh yeah, they also have fearsome. That's that's the other thing I I might have forgotten to mention. So some of our food gets away for sure on this one, but I think that's an okay outcome considering we like, we, we definitely scuffed it up a little bit. These things are turned on. Surround bonus here. Um, I don't trust the scatter. I think we just move up. That was a headshot death blow. I think we got everything right. Like, I don't think anything's getting away from us. Yeah, that's everything. Don't want to use any more ammo here. Hey, Brindley, appreciate the raid, man. How's it going? What's good with you, boss? Hope you had a good one. And it's always awesome to see you here, my guy. I need to get my, my music game up. Like every time I'm in your stream, you always have like very good music playing. I just don't know if like the BB community would appreciate all of my music tastes, you know what I mean? I shouldn't say appreciate. 
but like be into the same music that I'm into. So, you know, just kind of let it let it ride. Yeah, we definitely messed up by sending that guy in with scuffed armor, but it's all good. Like it 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 worked out. <laughs> It, it, it panned out. All right, let's walk and heal. We took more damage in the fight than we needed to, because if this was something we could fight, I would want to fight it. Oh, no, it's uh friendly. Okay. It's friendly. Played some weird stuff over the years. Think you might be surprised? Okay. I mean, if I can get away with, with whatever, I'll do it. I mean, this game has a great soundtrack. I can't stress enough how much I love it. So, but yeah, well, everybody who just came over with Brindley, welcome. Thank you for, for hanging out. Um, we are playing a random, random explored EEL run. Uh, we play Iron Man style. I just don't check the box because of corrupted save files. But if a bro dies, a bro is dead. We don't re roll terrain. We don't re-roll fights. Um, there are a few other rules, exclamation point rules, if you want to know them. Um, quality of life mods only. That whole that whole thing. Uh, this fight is free. This fight is super free. In fact, this is is this is this a we train forge tank fight? Probably. Like we probably pull a bro to train our forge tank. A little bit more protection on this side. But yeah, guys, like... It, it does, right? Like, there, if there were, like, four or five more tracks or, like, alternate tracks for fights, it would be super dope. You know what I mean? Like, even if every fight had two tracks, it would be just so dramatically different so but yeah i digress welcome to the stream guys i hope you guys are having a, a wonderful evening to all my night owls we're just kind of vibing here we've reached the stage of smashing a run i think so um on this loop, we're going to do Icy Cave if we find it. Or Ice Cavern, whatever it's called. The thing where you fight the solo barbarian guy. Um, whatever that is. Whatever that is, we're going to do it, chat. Um, this guy just backs up and gets out the way. Now the trick is these things all break super quick. I don't want my food to get away. You know what I mean? So I, I kind of got to work on cutting a little hole in here before they uh, before they all run away. But that's one of the best parts about Raiders is because you get you get every soundtrack in the game, right? You get the bad guy soundtrack, you get barb music, you get you know, you get all of it. I actually want the militia captain to rally as many of them as possible. Because this is this is just X, XP farm for us. Got 
Gotta secure the food. Good, good. Hey, good rally. Stay in the fight. Don't give up. This is your home you're defending. Maximum effort. I want to make sure this doesn't run, right? Okay. Gotta catch them all, chat. Gotta catch them all. Oh, they're still in it. Okay. Um, is this a hundred percent kill rate? A no shield run. Um so The only way that that, like the prop, the only problem, cause you can just run like dodge quick hands or like whatever, or, like dodge whatever for like literally everybody else and make it work. Like only higher initiative backgrounds. And like, like I'm sure that there's a way to make 97% of your formation work. I don't know how you do that with tanks. Or if you're, if you just run straight down, like, I don't know. I'm sure you, I know you're like super creative and do some cool stuff with your builds. So I'm sure you could you could figure that out. Um, and let me know when you do. I'll be very interested in the results of your test. Cause I I ain't got it. <laughs> Die already. An anatomist angle. I was very tempted to just leave there. <laughs> like, none of that loot on the ground was worth anything. Like, it's all getting dropped the second we do a, a real fight up here. Uh, veteran levels. Did, did. Yeah. Um, so we go Colossus student. I'm worried about this guy getting uh, exposed to death if we're not careful up here. So we'll go Colossus then student. When I'm leveling bros late game and it's safe, I'll take student on backliners and all that. Um, that's typically when I use it. I know people like to use it earlier and that's cool. Um, hey, whatever floats your boat. That's typically how I, I'll use it as an early perk on a bro. It'll be later in the game and he's safe in the back line somewhere. Um, this is our banner, right? All right. Let's sort the crap. Let's walk. Tools is a bottleneck for us. 
So we just have to keep that in mind. We're going to be... Um, what is this? That's hostile. I want to see how big that army is. No throwers? Brother. Throwers changed my life in this game. I, I, could, I don't think I could ever go back. I, I, I literally don't think I have the, the capacity to go back to, like, no throwers. I'm, I'm just down a bro, right? Okay. Uh, I don't like that. I want trainee to have more coverage. Um... So then I need better armor. I need to do this. Oh, that armor's not looking too good. Um, all right, I want to see how big this noble stack is. See if we jump it or not. Um, I'm not chasing it into the woods though. That's a that's a knob good. This is fightable, not at day. In daytime we die. The arbalisters shred us. But it's definitely fightable. We have the nets. Um maybe I kite it. We kind of don't have the tank for it, which is interesting. These guys actually ended up better than, uh, no, nah, not quite. These guys still have a bunch of levels to gain. This guy doesn't have all his perks yet, and he has Lone Wolf. So this guy's still a better, a better Nimble Tank. Um, what do I think about this? The Arbalisters is the problem. All dagger mastery, jeez. In legendaries, okay, okay. I can get behind that. I need to go. Do you have that posted as a vo I need to go back and watch that. That sounds spicy, man. Um, Brindley, second opinion. What do you think of this fight? Like, I if I want to fight it, I kite him and I take it at night. Um, the problem is, if I don't like the setup, I don't like the terrain, they have dogs, I'm committed. It's a lot of expos. They, they only, they don't have, they actually don't have that much damage, right? Like, if I fight this at night, they don't have that much damage. The only damage they have at night is, uh, probably... Six six billmen and a knight, right? And the footmen are just trying to tar pit us. If I'm going to do this fight, this trainee gets pulled. And our better tank goes in. This is a good one, chat. Glads is on YouTube as well. I watched some of your Glads run. I, I really liked it. 
I, I really liked how you how you approach that. You just play different than a lot of other players I see. Slug does too. So I'm going to kite this for a really long time. I'm going to fight it, but I'm going to fight it at night. And I'm going to be... Ooh. In the meantime, chat. Don't go in the town. Okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight that stack. I'm just gonna fight it at night. Do they run at me? Yes, they do. So I let them run at me, and I conserve ammo. And I dagger that if possible, because it's a fresh set of armor, and I'm tools constrained. Come at me, bro. I let that this one step into me. Don't use ammo. Or or I lock it up and do it that way. Like that's also acceptable. His chance was higher than I thought it'd be. It's still net positive if I dagger this armor. What I would really love, chat, is like a nice, big, juicy noble wagon that has like 60 tools on it. That would be like real sweet. Okay, chat. I couldn't help it. All right. I could I couldn't help it. A hey, leader with the follow. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I, I genuinely do. So yeah, we're gonna fight that giant stack of nobles. We're gonna we're gonna try and dagger the knight as well. I don't think we get to dagger this one, guys. This needs to be here. Ugh, always. Okay. Well, I tried it. And then that headshots. I mean, it's it's four four tools. So one unit of tools is worth 15 repair chat. Just so you know, so this is this is four tools. By the way, Um, how scared am I of this fight? Am I, I guess the question is, am I mass netting to, to keep it clean? And I might be. Because the dogs prevent us from kiting backwards, I, I literally might be mass netting here. But that would, then I would be putting nets on these. 
This will probably be repaired by the time we do that fight. This one will definitely be repaired by the time we do that fight. Alright. So we're gonna keep kiting this. And we're gonna fight this at night. Uh, maybe it's not fully repaired by nightfall, but whatever. Okay. Uh, close enough. Still rather just be perfect nimble. Um, somebody needs to get their Sally back. Here's a Sally helmet. So we have six nets to use in this fight. We have our tank in our formation. This guy's good to go. Um, six nets should be plenty. Depending on how it goes down, we might just like have to alpha strike with nets, but we fight this. And if we die, we die. 26 nobles, chat. 26 nobles. I actually don't like this tree here because it's going to cause them to wrap around in a weird way. That's, th there we go with the XCOM rolls, right? Okay, that was an XCOM roll in our favor. We take that. Because that was definitely a 37. They have a standard bearer, so kills are at a premium. All of this is turned on, right? So we step in here and we tee off on their all this damage. Because this, this and the archers are the only actual damage they have. Is that correct? I got to be careful because if I don't kill this one, I set myself up for like rotate problems. Because these things, these gentlemen do have rotate. Y'all see how I caught myself there? So we try and chew up all their damage right here before they can reposition. Any clean throwing lines? No. No clean throwing lines, that's fine.
so we got our damage bros on their on their um pikes the problem is they have rotate to reposition these guys but they're choosing to do it the dumbest way possible instead of just rotating instead of chain rotate rotating because that that's how i would fix that problem He's in 300, 320. If we can dagger him, that'd be sweet. Ooh, that's, that's bad. Um... He should have a noble sword in his pocket to to help with that situation. <sighs> Gotta hit your shots. Done being cut by the dog. Duelist go burr. There's the rotate. Not a good rotate for us at all. Um, so as much as I would love to dagger this guy, um, I think what's going to end up happening is I'm going to have to, uh, death blow him down to make sure this guy doesn't die. Like we're still, we're still in it with these guys, right? So I think I'm waiting and I'm going to net. We ha we need to secure the kill here. Because he'll, he'll rally this thing. Like, this will rally that. So that's why we're attacking a fleeing enemy there. Um, we could also stun into death blow too here, right? Like, we could also stun in a death blow and do it that way. And then freeze our thrower, throwers up to uh, to actually deal damage. Also, locking this down would be cool. Uh, let's, let's stun. Let's see if we can get the stun. Nope. So net it is. Ow. This is fine. Be, be gentle, please. Okay. They have two standard bears, too. I just noticed that. Uh, let's clean up our throwing lane. Or try to. We, we tried to, chat. Okay, that's better than getting swung on.
Okay. Ow. Ow. We're gonna have to kill that back there. It's gonna keep peppering us. That hurts. Can get this guy out if we want to here. Um, and down go burr. Um, everything looks relatively okay. Oh, that yoink is nasty. Oh, holy crap, that's a good yoink by them. Oh, that's a nasty one. Um, they're gonna feel really bad when they find out he's a duelist with a, uh, with a noble sword in his pocket. But... Like, that's still definitely a good yoink. Oh no, they yoinked my banner. No, it's not the duelist. Okay. Or it's not the guy with the noble sword in his pocket. Okay. I mean, we're still fine. Okay. Uh, mission complete. Um, he's. 80, 81 HP. It, a headshot would might kill him, maybe, but he's 80 HP nimble. So I don't I don't even think a headshot kills him. Clean it up. Okay. That went fine. That went fine. Like, we... I think we had a couple positioning errors there, but, like, yeah, whatever. Um, and we got... We got the knight's gear. We did dagger him down. And we, we got... We consumed him. We got his... His plates, his helm, and his... And his weapon. Uh, the dude got got actually eaten. Uh, 27 tools out of that, which is good. We kind of need those right now. And we 
didn't actually take we took a lot of cosmetic damage we got zero injuries out of that like actual real damage like we took tools damage there we we didn't bros were pretty much fine even that nimble guy who was like stripped of armor daggering the night he had like 100 hp nimble he had like 100 effective 160 hp like he was he was fine into a weapon with no HP damage. So. Cool. That went swell. This guy's finally love. We've been trying to get this guy leveled for, for a hot minute. Um. What are we doing with this guy? Doing this. Doing this. And this is, um, excuse me, this is his recover level. So now he can function as a proper inbound tank. And here's the thing. This is a gambler we got forever ago, right? Like, like he, he can die, right? His replacement's in training and we have another one. Like that guy, that guy we can run out to, to die for value whenever we feel like now. So that's pretty good. Karashnik with the follow. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Hope you are enjoying. So now what's our, ne our next target for this? Uh, we have this over here. What is this? This is a farm. Uh, while we're down here, I guess we'll try and hit it. That's convenient. I was just saying, I was like, man, a trading caravan with tools would be really sweet right about now. I don't know if this caravan has tools. I didn't check the, um, so you can tell what's on a caravan chat. If you look at, if you know the town it came from, you can look at the attachments and that's a pretty good indicator of what's on the caravan, by the way. So if you see work, a caravan leaving a town with workshops, then you can you will you will get tools hitting a caravan, hitting that caravan. Like that's the those are the goods it's carrying. So for all my my raiders and noble haters out there, that's that's a way to project the loot. Or if you're Raiding to survive, you can um, go, okay, I need tools. Caravan from this town has tools. Maybe I need to hang out around here. That type of thing. Um, I need to conserve ammo because we're out on a long, kind of a long deal here. These cleavers actually sell for a lot of money, chat, when they're repaired. I hope they drop. And there's three of them here. These these tier are those tier two? Maybe tier three? Tier two cleavers? Yeah, they're tier two. Because the tier three is a military cleaver. Like they sell really well. Uh I don't let on the off chance I whiff my rolls. This guy's armor is still beat up from the last fight. I don't let this cleaver swing into him. That's a recipe for a problem. On the off chance I whiff, like, that's how you're like, things are going good, and then you just, you just die. These do repair repair and sell well, but no tools. Because that little itty bitty village has nothing. Drop the junk, that's fine. Uh this farm could be an easy fight, or it could be like some crazy mercenary madness. 
we don't want to get jumped in the woods here so let's go wide and around here and try and be careful like we have some repairing we need to do after the last fight Good lord, what is that? What is that, chat? Uh, maybe, I think it's a visual bug. Because, yeah, it's, that's a visual bug. Because, oh no, it's not a visual bug. What? That is a big northern soldier stack. Or maybe I'm just zoomed in really far. No, that's a big stack. You know what big feet mean, chat? Uh, mercenaries with a sword master. Okay. Mercs with a sword master. Do some gear adjusting here. I probably need to be carrying more spare armor chat. Like, what do I even put this guy in? Um. Oh, okay, this works. And I know I have fully, fully repaired nasal helms. Armor checks before we go in there. Um, can we do better than this? Because, like, some of the mercenaries will have archers. Um, I think we probably just go with it. And then let's re-up on nets. And then let's send it. Lots of mercenaries. So we're talking about, like, 14 mercenaries. Or 11 to 12 mercenaries. Am I supposed to fight this at night, chat? I don't know. Send it. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out when we get in. Um, okay. These are upper mercenaries. And they have good gear. I'm 100% supposed to fight this at night. <laughs> I'm about to get shredded. Uh, these nets are going to be obnoxious, chat. But it is it is what it is. And we have to be careful with that sword master. This guy doesn't have a hat, chat. Like, if we headshot him, he just dies. tried it um maybe we get this to step into a dead man's tile 
with that. Ow. Nets. Ow. They're cheating, chat. Who let who let the AI get nets? They're using my tech against me. They're learning, chat. Oh no, they're learning. Um Like this one's this one's just done. I d I've learned you don't rush these because they they have overwhelm and dagger mastery, and these things will pull out a tier two dagger and instant kill a bro. So be be very careful with that stuff. Just FYI. He's not gonna be a net range of the Swordmaster. This is aggressive. This is, that's aggressive, but it's probably okay. I just need to get a net on the Swordmaster and I'm fine. Start wrapping on these archers. Control that guy for a little bit. Okay. That dies. That dies bloody. Um, let's end on. Um... Okay. I'd rather attack here than move crazy into again, these things will pull out a dagger and end your bro's life instantly. So just approach them carefully, is what I'm saying, chat. Like these things are, can be like basically, basically Katal bros. Like dagger spec, overwhelm, mastery, pretty decent mat. So just, just be wary of that. Swordmaster is the biggest threat in the fight, so. And we caught the war bow, so I think we're good. Painful fight, but. Like a lot of tools damage. Ugh. I don't know why I tried to disrespect the mercenary. They demand respect, chat, is, is the lesson there.
Oh, he's still in it. Okay. I thought he was going to run, chat. Props to that guy. What a Chad. Okay. Good fight. Good fight. Um, got a war bow. They sell well. Um, maybe I keep it, keep it in the inventory if I run into like a fight with a bunch of really light targets or or undead. This actually is fine when you have like a whole bunch of soft zombies or um nachos. Knox says. Um, but yeah, this is cool. And I'm okay with all this. That's the pig farm. I, I don't think we make it all the way to that other target chat. Like, I actually don't think we get there. Um, we have, we have money though. Money's always good. Um, I also don't think we have time. Like they give you like a day or two to get back after doing this contract where you can still turn it in. I don't think we have time. Um, unless we like peek and find icy cave like immediately. Uh, let's be careful. No army comes off the road, jumps us in the woods. Brigands. Lots of brigands. Brigands running from something. I don't see northern soldier tracks, so. There's there's a leader or something in here. Or is this visual bug? What's happening? There's something here, chat. I just don't know where. I just don't know where it's sitting and I can't see it. Okay, yeah, it was Northern Soldiers running, chasing. That's a lot of webnecks. We're fresh out of tools. Problem is we're out of tools and we're beat up, right? Like if I'm up here, I want to try and do icy cave. I want to try and find it at least. So I think this is just like a non-starter for us. Like we're we're really scuffed, chat. Also, do we have a our, our another retinue slot yet? No, we're close. We're we're one fight from Paymaster, which we need, which we will need. Let's get eyes on this. Because sometimes it's just like, you're literally just killing helpless peasants. 
and that would be pretty cool. Um, it's not helpless peasants. It's doable though. That said, I don't think I care about that. I think I want to do Icy Cave if I can find it. Like I'm going to take a peek up here for Icy Cave. And if I don't see it, because we have the bro for it. I don't care about that. So we're going to... It could be on the opposite side of this. We've cleared, we've cleared a lot of this already and haven't found it. It could be sitting like right here or it's like in this far corner somewhere. But there's only three places it could be. So while we're up here on this trip, I would rather, I'd rather at least look. Typical. Okay. That's unfortunate. Okay. So I'm gonna do a quick sweep and then we'll work our way back. It's not up here, chat. It feels it feels medium. Or it's like in the woods somewhere. That also feels bad. Okay. Could also be like on this little island up here that would be crappy too so my icy cave is either like on an edge up here right here or over here which is like fine all right let's work our way back we're out of tools in a state of disrepair we may not make it back in time they give you like i think like two days maybe three to get back to turn this contract in we may not get credit for the contract I mean, we still have a ton of crap to sell. Barb's chosen, probably. Trading caravan to hit. Thralls. Um, see if these thralls fight us. Because I really don't want them to eat our food. They should run at us. How much money do y'all think? Uh, how much money do y'all think this, this card is worth, chat? Got a, little, got a little poll rolling for you guys. We're about to sell a ton of a, a ton of loot. I'll show you guys the bag in a minute. Or I guess you've seen it already. This is probably a little bit better. Now we'll see if you've been paying attention. But we fought a 26 stack of nobles. We fought um, a bunch of raiders and other stuff. Doing these caravan missions to get paid. Maybe get some tools back, hopefully. So, you know, tell, guys, tell me what you think, how much you think we made. Right. 
get wrecked. Is that Spear Mastery? No. Using throwing weapons here is is a bit overkill, but whatever. Also put it should have put the trainee in this fight to level him. I just wasn't thinking about it. Somebody thinks 15k, somebody thinks 10k. Okay. Armored unholds? What? What? Are there dogs in this? What? Yo, I could have just like randomly clicked on that thinking that that was uh that was gonna be cool. If we were if we if we uh, if we weren't really scuffed with armor that's not repaired, we could do it. I could also kite this into the um, into that giant noble stack and see if one does damage to the other. And maybe the nobles win, we pick off something, but I won't do that. That feels kind of cheesy. Not saying it is, but this is free. Do you like free? I'm going to use throwing weapons to speed this up because I can. We're probably already in legendary prep like next next stream. If I knew where Monolith was already, I'd probably start getting ready to run at it. Truth be told. If anybody is awake, just please remind me to buy tools and finish repairing before I do this sell, please. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to short myself a lot if I do that. If I If I forget. So I've had like like some funny things happen with these caravan hands and guards because they can't flee as long as the donkey's alive. But I've had like early game, I've gotten like the um the ankle injury or whatever. So I didn't have AP. 
And like, I had one that was just like fleeing all around the map. And this was like when I was still learning how to play. I didn't know that if you attack the donkey, they automatically come back. Right? And so like, I sat there for like a hot minute, like embarrassingly long, just chasing this like half dead caravan hand around the map. And this was like early, 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 like one of my first streams. And it was just like, um, what's, uh, and then somebody in chat was like, hit the donkey guy. And I was like, huh? They were like, hit the donkey. And they, they all, or that guy came back and I was like, oh, okay, this is convenient. This, this works pretty well. Um, there is a caravan, but there's also a giant horde of noble soldiers. Oh, it's done fast. Dang, that's far. And I can't take the road. We're too injured. We're too injured to fight a giant noble stack. There's no way we get paid for this. We're going to get there like way too late. And they're going to tell us to, to screw off. These are probably friendly. Yeah. I just want to get there as soon as possible. I do think that there's a time limit on turning it in. I just don't know how long it is. Maybe there's not. Maybe I thought that Maybe I didn't kill enough stuff and I didn't get credit. And I thought that's why I thought I didn't get paid for the time it took me to get back. But I think the only time they've not paid me is when I took a really long time to get back. Tools. Let's make sure we're repairing. Let's make sure we're repairing everything we want to repair. Not close. <laughs> it's like 60 tools. But we'll buy and then we'll camp for a second. Come on. Watch, they don't pay me because I took too long. Nope, they paid me. Okay. Cool. All right. So we're gonna buy tools. There's another coat of scales if we want it. There's a, a helm if we want it. If we just, if we're hurting for ways to spend money. We can do that. Bro selection here is just hot garbage. All right, cool. Um, what's our sell price here? 16, let's, let's do a little bit better than that. Let's uh, do a, a jog this way. And check for cheap trade goods too. Also, we're open, open here. So more price influence. Unhold attacks. Oh my god. Cheap tools though. We might come back and kill these unholds because we need um, we need bone plating. I haven't found unhold graveyard either. Where are all the legendaries I care about? I found crap. I found the statue. I found the, um, I found the, what is that thing called? The ob observation thing. I haven't found goose. I haven't found statue. No event here. Let's 
let's check this sell price. We got a 17. That means we're sending it, chat. Most of the stuff's fully repaired. The only things that are not being sold are this coat of scales, this helm, and I think everything else is going, chat. Um, and these spare armors are staying. Trade goods going. All right. Let's see how we did here. Oh, and our spare helmets. We were at we were at fourteen when we started. So that is right about twelve K. That ain't a bad sell, guys. At all. Pretty happy with that. Oh, my man my man with the quick maths. Okay, so closer to, so it's closer to 13k we made there. That That's awesome. Um, we need a Sally, and we got the red paint for it. Yeah. So closer to 13k, or, like, it's a... Yeah, we, we did we did well there, is what I'm saying, chat. Um these trainees need to be over here. Alright. Cool. Now Um, I need to hire a bro real quick so I can get this paymaster. Who's cheap? Who's who's cheap and expendable? You. Cool. So now our wage is only five hundred, and we stopped all the pay events. So now we can we can rack up money. Which is great. Okay. Cool. Let's make sure we fire that bad bro. All right, chat. Um, I think that's going to be it for me for for this session. Um, I got a lot going on this weekend, so I probably won't be. I definitely won't be streaming Saturday. We we might get a little something Sunday night. Um, we'll see how tomorrow goes. Um, but uh, I will be uploading the section from before this that's not in the vods. Um. So you can go back and see if you missed it, you can see, I think it's day like 85 to 90, whatever, when we started. But um, yeah, like this is going really well. Um, 
So what were our priorities today? We, let's see. What did, what did we want to do? Um, so we did not find Icy Cave. We made some progress, right? Uh, we got two more Forge Bros hired, which is great. Uh, quite a few gear improvements, I think. Uh, some incremental stuff. Got some Sallies. We're we're set on Forge Armor. Um, didn't find any more Fames. Didn't lose any more Bros. Um, and always the the Nets used counter is is untrackable. We are we are probably at. If I had to guess, we're probably at like like 70 or 80 nets use this run like some obscene crazy number um so because like early game we're spamming them like some fights we're throwing like seven right so you know it is what it is but i think we did well well hey thank you guys for joining um i really appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed the stream um if you did don't forget to hit that follow button my schedule is kind of all over the place, um, so that's the best way to get notified of when I'm going live. Um, and so there's that. And any anybody who doesn't catch live, doesn't like messing with VODs, I do upload everything to YouTube as well. Um, and I have some guides on YouTube for newer players. Um, let's see, guides. Oh, sorry, guide. There we go. Um, if you want to see our builds. So that's uh, some good information there. But yeah, um, I think we're going to wrap it up here. This one really well, man. Um, let me see who's live right now. see what's going on here okay looks like we're raiding dog food All right, guys, thank you.